Here's a tank I haven't played in a while. It's the non-premium Churchill. Okay, it's got a hole in the back to stick a radio. It's got boxes on the side to keep your cup of tea in. Your tea making facilities. It's got... It's such a weird shape, now I look at it. You know, I like it a lot. I think it's a really fun little tank. Fit little? God no, it's huge. It's, it's a fun... A fun big tank. Oh, they've got a KV-2 though. Hey, right, Rudy, is that like a T-30? Is that like a... It is, it's like the... Oh, is that the T-3485 with the, the, the dog in the crew? Let's get this show on the road! Damn, that's exciting. I mean, I'm I'm easily excited. That that's pretty much why I keep playing this game because I'm always like, oh, look at that thing, look at that bush, look at that tank. Why am I dead? Because I spend too much time looking at bushes and other tanks. Stop shooting, friendlies. That's not cool. Don't do it, man. Yeah, that. If that is the T3485 with the the dog. Set myself to full speed! I could actually just go and make a cup of tea. <laughs> I haven't had a cup of tea actually for a while. I think that's why last couple of games have not been going so well. That and I've not really been paying attention. I keep getting distracted by bushes, tanks crewed by dogs. Wait. What happened to him? What the hell is going on here? Do you ever sort of feel like you've gone the wrong way? Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're damn right you've been spotted. You're, you're way up there. Alright. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to drive in a, in a generally forwardly direction and That's what a weird game this is turning out to be. I'm worried about that KV2, I'll be honest, because not that I doubt whether or not my buddies can get can deal with that. But the KV2 is one of those tanks which honestly KV-2 is one of those tanks where the the way to deal with it is to can I <laughs> oh my god I would be fucking shitting bricks at this point yeah because the KV-2 like if you if you let it decide when you when to, when to fight the KV-2 is going to destroy you. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the KV-2 is really good at that sort of like the kind of peekaboo game that people love to play. And. Come on, give me a kill. Are we turning this around? Is that Skoda? Yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, when I grew up, Skoda was kind of a joke. It was basically a, uh, a joke. It was a. Penetration. And I mean, that isn't fair, but. Penetration. Yeah, certainly when I was younger, sort of Skoda was synonymous with 
poorly constructed, prone to falling apart. It was not a positive. It, it was ne no one ever used the word Skoda positively, and I know they've been like the company in modern times has really sort of gone out of its way to sort of shed that image of we can win this on a cap. Mm, no. That KV2 has got a line on. <sighs> Too slow. I keep. I know I go the wrong way in heavy tanks. I'm not sure. I was going to say I'm not sure what difference I would have made in the city fight, but conversely, probably would have done more. More there than. Oh! Meh! Alright! Uh, GG! Uh, well played. Good job, everyone!